do what's going on it's your boy i'll be back with another video if you're new to the channel you should hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave me a comment share the video all of that so as you read by the title as you see by the thumbnail we got another gun pickup slash unboxing going down for y'all boys but this one's gonna be a little different so this one i'm gonna go pick up well i'm gonna go meet up with my boy texas rugged so uh, y'all stay tuned because i'm gonna i'm trying to convince him to start a firearms channel so y'all stay tuned for that but right now we're about to go pick him up and then we're gonna go shoot over to my ffl to go pick up that bad boy so for those of y'all who didn't already get the hint of the thumbnail, what I'm picking up. I'll give y'all a little hint right there. And I know a lot of y'all is gonna say, why is he riding with a loaded firearm in the car? Don't worry, got a seatbelt on. You know, you stay strapped up. You gotta keep the strap strapped up. So that's what we got a seatbelt on. So, oh, and by the way, we're picking up his big brother. So that's another hit for y'all boys. But that's the only hit I'm gonna give y'all till we go pick it up. But we got it all get, well, we're not all gassed up. So we gotta go hit the gas station first and then gas it all the way up. But I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, so why do y'all do this? Cause I know some of y'all might do this, but why do y'all do this? A whole sidewalk over there, and this dude is gonna get his dumb, dumb self, I'm trying not to cuss, dumb self in the middle of the road. And then they wonder why. Oh, fuck. oh man, you know, I'm not even gonna say it, but a whole sidewalk, a whole taxpayer sidewalk right there, and he's gonna put himself in the middle of the road. Let's not start it off to a bad day. Okay, we just pulled up. What's going on, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As y'all see, this is his thing right here. The big old tough. Still look tough, though. Big old tough TRX. You can see it. You can see a little resemblance right there. His look a little bit tougher because he got that big boy bumper on there. But you want to start a firearms channel, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he. To do that. So so he's new. He's new to firearms, right? So, so he's just so y'all gonna follow his whole journey on it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go to my FFL and then we're gonna pick up. I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna pick up because I want your initial impressions. So we're gonna pick up something and I want you to give your initial impressions on the firearm that I show you. Sounds like a plan? Okay, but first, let me show you what's, what's sitting in the front seat. Let's, let me show you what's sitting on the front yeah, seat. Man. Now don't pull it out because we in public, but go ahead and open the door. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Oh man, what you got here, bro? <laughs> That's that honey badger right oh, there, boy. Oh snap! <laughs> God, dog, you got this. What we're picking up today is kind of related to that one. Okay. So you, when, when we pick it up, you're gonna kind of see the resemblance. I bet. Yeah, that's it. You that's seen it. That today? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we, so as you yeah. see, we at the gas station. You know, that's your second home when you own one of these bad boys. Yeah. But after we get it all locked and loaded, we're going to hit the, we're going to hit my FFL. Let's get it. Y'all, so I just picked this bad boy up. Now we're going to go find a spot to do the unboxing slash little initial review. So. If you ain't know by now, you should already know. You see that old school gangster right there? You see that cue? So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So we over here at my boy No Limits Rap, and he got his red TRX there. So I mean, we, I mean, we, can we take a moment to kind of appreciate the ambiance of this crazy look three tier. I mean, we're oh, come on now. Where do you see that at? Where do you see that at? So we had to make this the backdrop, so you can't just be doing this anywhere. So yeah, don't pull into your local gas station to try to do you know, a review or something like that. But we are going to get this thing jumping off. So what do you think it's going to be? Man, I have no idea, bro. I'm Judging by the one you've seen already. So I oh, told you it's going to be similar. You know, it's going to be a little related to that one. So I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to go grab it and I'll get your first impression. Oh, man, let me know if y'all ready. I'm about to go check this out. Y'all get in the comment section if y'all ready to see this. Go. As y'all see it, here we go. First Ooh, initial impressions of the box. What do you think? God damn that! <laughs> that old school gangster on that box. Check it out. See the Q on there. Ooh -wee. What do you think about that? It's Christmas, yo. Nathan, <laughs> call nine one one. Now, if y'all see, you know, little raindrops or something on his face, he's not crying. <laughs> he's not crying. It's raining a little bit. So, um, initial impressions. Let's get his reaction. Really Go good. ahead and open it and see. Let, let, see. let me see what you think my about present, it. My present. Look at my present. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, sir. Go ahead and show it. We got oh, that man. original Q. Check it out. Sugar Weasel. That Q Sugar Weasel. Go ahead and cock it to show that it is clear so there's nothing in it. Then pull that back. So, let me show the people. All right. So, as y'all see, there's nothing in it. Nothing, nothing, no mag, no nothing brand new. 
safe direction wow brand new in the box y'all check it out man this thing is dope bro. <laughs> it's not too heavy either yeah so that's so one thing like light yeah that's one thing that they really try to capitalize on is the weight of it but let me go ahead and show y'all before we get too in depth on that let me go ahead and show y'all what came in the box so in the box we come with a magazine this is one of the things i did not like is hold this real quick yes, sir. is this magazine so this magazine came all scratched up and ugly like for the price you're paying for the price you're paying for them q products oh, come on you guys got to do better than this they just threw this in they might as well have kept this honestly because i'm gonna have to <laughs> i'm gonna have to get rid of this one and then we get the lock that everybody knows and loves the lock the manual and the little chamber flag so that's all that comes in it but let's hop into the rifle so what we have here is a q sugar weed now if y'all recognize that other one that i had this is his big brother. Actually, let me go grab that one. It is right here. You got the twin, twin, twin. Now you see that little brother, big brother. Ooh. But little brother, especially with all this stuff on it, little brother weigh a little bit more than big brother. And that's because this, I think this is made of aluminum. Still got baby weight. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Yeah. <laughs> so, so with this one, let me go ahead and break this one down and show y'all what this one's about. Let me push this button, turn that light off. Oh, you blind everybody. Okay, so this one, the, one of the things that I didn't like also was the skinniness of the stock. So they put a really small stock. And I mean, their main goal was to save weight. So they kind of did it with this. But for me, I just don't like how it feels on my cheek. So I, I feel like I, I would have to be doing a lot of adjusting. So that's probably one of the things that I'm gonna change. The anodizing, crazy. So what do you think about looks wise? Look wise, bro, it looks crazy. <laughs> that thing. And then with this too? Exactly. <laughs> like, come on, you can't get no better. So it does have that. Raptor charging handle, which the finish is coming off. And y'all hear that? So that sounds, I don't know. That's, that one kind of sounds bad. There, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that would sound mad dry, but, you know, we're going to get some oil in it, get it all taken care of. So it does have that anodizer. It does have, what kind of grip is this? A Reptilia grip? That one probably got to go. We probably got to get a hog on there. We'll get back to the trigger later. It does have a stainless barrel. So one of the things that they really wanted to capitalize also, like I told y'all, is weight and so they went with a stainless barrel and they said that they went that direction because they really wanted to focus on accuracy so they went with the stainless barrel but obviously you know you it's not going to shoot itself so you got to do your thing too up top we got that cherry cherry bomb muzzle brake up top so you know you could fit their suppressors you can directly thread it onto there like but, that bronze tip right there yeah i mean it's on the same thing yeah i know it so it matches same type of muzzle brake on those two and you know we got to get this one to where that one's at but let's let's put this one over here you hear this yeah. yellow one through ten looks wise what do you think about it looks wise yeah man i, that's, I would say nine bro nine, nine out of that's ten. nine out of ten right there okay y'all okay. give in the comment section let me know and one of the things that they changed with that from that to this is they didn't put a whole this is more regular ar so they didn't put a whole bunch of special parts or proprietary parts on it so no standard AR and I think that's where they kind of cut costs because if you know that honey badger is about like 25 to 3 grand this one you can get around like 14 13 but shout out to Spartan Defense for sending this bad boy out shout out to y'all boys that I'm telling y'all if y'all unless y'all like to pay a lot and y'all go check out Spartan Defense because they got everything and they definitely gonna beat any of your local shop prices so just tell them OB sent y'all and they'll definitely take care of y'all but back to this now one of the things that they I think the main attraction of this is this thing right here. Their special trigger. So Q's special trigger. And you know what they call this trigger, bro? What they call it? Literally the best trigger ever made. That's the name of it. <laughs> Literally. So when you go and ask for it, if you want to put it in your AR, because I think it is a drop-in trigger, you have to ask. I want literally the best trigger ever made. So their marketing is definitely crazy. Like I think that's funny. And that's why I really like Q's products because they're flashy and they just know how to market. Because I mean you walk into a gun store and you see this sitting on the wall, it's automatically going to draw it's your gonna eye. It's going to get attention. Yeah. It's and it, if, it, attention. if it works as good as it looks, I think it's, it's a home run. But Yeah, we definitely going to have to shoot it. Yeah, that yeah. literally the best trigger ever made. We definitely got to put that to the test. So Yes, sir. You already know how I rock with Rise Armament. So, I mean, literally the best trigger. I mean, it's only right. So, we, we definitely got to get that jumping off. But, feel-wise, what do you think? Dope. I love it, man. I wish it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> man this thing got it all bro yes sir yes sir. the only thing is probably the flaw is gonna be the, the magazine yeah so i mean we can get a good we can get, we another, get, a, magazine. We can get another magazine get another one. magazine do that but let me show y'all this trigger pull on this so this is a two-stage trigger so let me put that in there so that's the take up take up man like take up there's the wall 
click. Now let's cock it. That's the reset. Bow. Right back at it. So, Easy I mean, easy. overall, as long as the barrel lasts, because it is a stainless steel barrel, as long as the barrel lasts, I think this is a really good platform. It's super light. Like, I'm, I mean, you guys would have to pick it up to really know what we're talking about, but this thing mm -hmm. is crazy light. So, all in all, I think this is definitely a win. Definitely, in my opinion. What do you think? I like it. Overall. So, for the cost, though, now, is, well, it, it's price? cheaper. It's cheaper, but it's not cheap. So, you can find it around 15, 1400 dependent maybe you might find it for 13 so it's a cheaper option but it's not cheap let's yeah. just put it like that so q sugar weasel and their names is so crazy they got the honey badger they got the sugar weasel they got um get this name from, bro. <laughs> no, no, they're marketing i'm telling you they're marketing it's, it's just it, ridiculous because yeah. once you hear that you'll be like what yeah. like it's not no regular day like smith and wassig right. glock you know things that you're used to hearing um, they got a muzzle break. I think no, not a muzzle break. A suppressor called the Thunder Chicken. Thunder the Thunder Chicken. chicken. <laughs> so I mean, they know what they're doing. They're definitely, it's, you know, trying to stand out. They got my attention for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're definitely trying to stand out. And hopefully, this finish. I love this finish. Like I told y'all before, this anodized finish. Hopefully, this thing stands up and you know doesn't wear because the charging handle. I don't know if they did it with the charging handle, but it looks like that is already starting to come off. And this is brand new. Brand new in box, so it looks like that's already starting to come out. So hopefully that doesn't happen to the gun. That's one of the main reasons why you buy it is yeah, the aesthetics. Yeah. Like that's what really attracted me to it. So Q Sugar Weasel, last like opinion. It, I love it. I love it, man. The last thing we need to do is shoot it, test it. Let me know which which one y'all going for. Are y'all going for the Honey Badger or y'all going for the Sugar Weasel? Let me know in the comments, right? For like, come on, let let me know. So y'all tell me, because some people might not like the short look, some people might not like the long look, or the proprietary look of the honey badger. Y'all let us know in the comments. All right, so like I said in the beginning, make sure y'all go tap in with Spartan Defense. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that comment button, leave me a comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.